Abyss is the high head, high flow pump, and reliability kings when it comes to return pumps. I'm here with Alex. Alex, you're standing behind a very large pump here. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this monster. Well, this is our uh, A1200. So it was the natural development after the A400 to get something bigger. The energy savings just rise with the size of the pump. So to us, it really doesn't make a difference whether you use six or eight watts, that's just a minor saving. Okay. But all of these large pumps on the planet for large systems in aquaculture, private aquariums, anywhere you look at, like this replaces you know, pumps up to three kilowatts. <laughs> and then there's a saving of one and a half kilowatts easily. So we're talking about return of investment, sometimes as low as six months. Now, is that true with Americans who have very cheap power? Yes, you do have cheap power, but still it's a good saving. Like power uh, price comes up even in the States, as I've heard uh, over the discussions in the last two days that we've been doing here. Yeah. Um, for us, it's crazy. I mean, we pay 60 cents now per kilowatt hour, wow. 60. Um, we chatted yesterday with people that pay 15, but energy costs have risen by like 80%. Second thing, is the noise. We can, you can try to pick up the noise if, if we close that, that outlet a little bit. Three inch outlet, by the way. Four inches in on this big boy, three inches out. And we see, now it's running at 100%. And the only noise I'm getting is the sound of the water flowing in this tank. Yeah. There, I can put my that, head down on this thing. I'll hold it, I'll hold it. I, there's nothing there. I'm not feeling any vibration on this thing. It's solid. Yeah. And it's also submersible. So this can also be mounted, you know, in the sun in the or sun. In, a, in, a, in a wet area. I mean, the behind the scenes in public aquariums, usually they clean that with a pressure cleaner. Yeah. And you, you know, no no, normal pumps would just start rusting. Okay. This doesn't. I have a client who has three of these things, super reliable. I have an A400 and a 200 on my tank, super reliable. But moving beyond return pumps, you have an intake pump that, of course, is a flow monster, aka yes. the flow cannon, right? <laughs> right. That is Alex, the flow cannon, what's the gallons per hour on this thing cranked all the way out? That one is uh, 16,000 gallons per hour. 16,000. 16,000, yeah. With and only 150 watts. 150, that's at 100%. At 100%. If you dial that down to, let's say, 50%, yeah. you have half the flow with 28 watts. 28 watts. So it's not a linear relationship then between Absolutely power not, out. right. 28 watts with 8,000 gallons per hour. Yeah. Okay. I've seen this before. I thought of it then. I'm looking at it again. The metal. I got this big metal thing in my tank. Why can't we go with black or something? Well, there's no, there's no proper way to, to, you know, color it. I mean, Paint obviously would, you know, at some point just uh, get away uh, or fade away in the tank. Yeah. Um, we could anodize it, which would be super expensive because it's all titanium. So yeah. it's all titanium grade two. This is titanium, not stainless. Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, oh, stainless titanium. So, but no, but it's titanium <laughs> grade two, um, and it won't stain. Um, but it will overgrow with coralline algae if you don't put the whole thing into acid the whole time. Yeah, yeah. What we do offer though is. Um, uh, ceramic housings for it, artificial rock work. Okay. So there's more and more products coming on the market from different uh, manufacturers that are already, you know, doing doing coverings for pumps like that. Okay. So if I'm just patient, I'll get coralline and the biofilm over it. Or if you don't want to be patient, you got ceramic type coatings right. covering. Right. 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 This thing is a monster, giving us lots of flow with not a lot of power. I imagine it's got the same abyss reliability behind it. Yes, absolutely. You have the same 10-year warranty on it. 10. 10-year ten warranty. 10-year warranty yes. on this thing. Yeah. You just have to register it. So we always tell people we want to know when it went into operation. So please, within four, four weeks after purchase, just let us know. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. Yeah, just yeah. send us an email, proof of purchase, when it's registered, that's it. Right. And these are the A1200, the 400, the 200, the Flow Cannon, controllable. Zero to ten volts if you want it, down to one tenth of one percent. Right. Tons of control out of these things. All the drivers that we have now, the new IPU drivers with this um, aluminum housing, um, they all have the setting in zero point one percent um, steps. Yeah. So um, 
Yeah, they're very, uh, very fine adjustable. That's because many people in their, in their return pumps, you know, when they adjust the water levels in their overflow box, yeah. they need that fine adjustment. Yeah. On that one, you most likely won't need it, but then you can also use that one as a return pump because it can lift up to 10 inches. And then it's lifting 8,000 <laughs> gallons. Straight up. Straight up with 150 watts. So if my tank was really deep, you could just put this up and make it push water up. Yeah, but you can also have, like, if you have a little river, yeah. you can just, you know, push that water 10, 10 inches high and then it will just flow down. And there'll be a lot of water coming out. Because I have a little river. Yes, of course, everybody has a little river in the living room, maybe some koi in there or so, you know, who knows. I don't, you, you can try it out, just, you know. All right, we're going to give this thing a whirl. We're going to hold on to this thing, and uh, here we go. I hardly have to hold it. It's just pushing back against my hand. Yeah, and that's 28 watts. 28 watts right here. I'm going to turn this thing up to 100%. I'm sucking air, by the way. I don't know. This pushes back against my hand. Yeah. That's and, tough to hold. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, if I wanted to, I could soak everyone in the conference right now. <laughs> Water well, you, you can point room. up a little bit, maybe. I'll move out of the way, yeah. just so you see how much water is really coming out. It's yeah, this thing is a beast. And this will go through inch and a half glass, inch and a quarter. Yes, the, the smaller magnet is three quarter inch, and the larger magnet is for one and a half inch. One and a half inches. Yeah. These are made in Germany, not made in China. No, the, yeah, absolutely. I mean, everything from this is made in Germany. So you're German. You're here in Milwaukee, where we make beer. <laughs> Have you had any of this fine American beer? Yes, I did. <laughs> and what's your take on <laughs> fine I, I American can't, beer? I can't, I can't say anything bad about my American friends, honestly. <laughs> Don't make me do it. <laughs> you, said, just, you said, said earlier laugh. it was, drink, it was <laughs> working beer. Which is working beer because you can drink a lot of it. It's true. It'll work. All right. I mean, that's what we do. <laughs> German thing. You can drink a lot of it and you can still work. Right. You know, I mean, for lunch, I breakfast, it's always beer clock. Somewhere in the Empire. That's, right. <laughs> That's what the Queen used to say. That's though. right, but yeah. God speed the Queen. A sad, a sad thing. Well, look, I use your pumps on my tank, on Klein's tanks. Absolutely flow monsters, but they work great. They don't draw a lot of power and they're super reliable. I lose no sleep at night worried about your products. Keep it up. I can't imagine the next thing you're working on behind the scenes. We are. There's some stuff coming. Any hints? But no, not really. I can't I can't say anything. But Worse there not. will be stuff coming out. Alright, well I'll keep an Thanks eye on it. Thanks Alex. Cool. Thank you very Thank much. You.